Tenumbu must finish his eight years as a Yoruba man. Okay, whether we like it or not, he must do his eight years. This is coming from him. Um, Dele Momodu. On what premise did he say this? Okay. Okay, okay. Well-known Nigerian journalist and the publisher of Ovation International Magazine shared his views on President Tinubu's administration. Momodu's comments covered a wide range of issues currently affecting Nigeria, including governance and its socio-political climate. The interview provided a platform for Momodu to express his concerns and perspectives on the direction the country is taking under the current leadership. During the discussion, Momodu addressed questions about his open letter to President Tinubu, which had garnered mixed reactions. He acknowledged that his candid views had raised eyebrows among some observers. Momodu emphasized that his intention was not to provoke controversy but to speak truthfully about the situation in Nigeria. He stressed the importance of constructive criticism in a democracy and the role of journalists in holding leaders accountable. Momodu did not mind words in expressing his concerns about Nigeria's trajectory. He stated that the country is currently heading in the wrong direction, warning that it could lead to a serious trouble if not addressed. Drawing a parallel with events in Kenya, Momodu suggested that a similar crisis could potentially unfold in Nigeria if the issues are not tackled. He attributed the situation to the actions and decisions of the country's leaders whom he described as being driven by greed. In addressing the dynamics of ethnicity in Nigerian politics, Momodu noted that ethnic considerations play a significant role in the nation's leadership. He remarked on the motion that because Nigeria currently has a Yoruba president, there is an expectation that he must complete an eight-year tenure, irrespective of performance or public opinion. This, according to Momodu, is indicative of the deep-rooted ethnic sentiment that influence political decisions in Nigeria. Momodu's interviews highlighted the complexities and challenges facing Nigeria as it navigates its political landscape. He urged for a more inclusive and merit-based approach to governance. Free from ethnic biases, his candid remarks are a reflection of the critical role the media and public discourse play in shaping the failure of the country. He said that Nigeria is heading one in the wrong direction, heading into trouble. I saw that I saw what happened and happening in Kenya. Oh, it is our leaders, it's their moment of greediness. Sorry, it cannot happen here because we apply ethnic coloration. We have a Yoruba president, and whether we like it or not, he must do his eight years. Okay, this is not a the word. Of Dele Momodu, he said because of the kind of politics that is being played or what has played out, that people just believe that say, Oh, is our brother is this and that he must finish his eight years, and that was exactly what uh, the northerners were doing when Buhari was there. But I'm, I'm surprised they are not coming out. Like I usually say during Buhari's time, that if we shall supposed we are supposed to have people who are supposed to be on the streets on a daily basis, supposed to be the northerners, especially when it comes to the issue of insecurity, they never bothered. So this ethnicity is playing out, and after that time we learned that uh, to protest is, a, is, a, is an abomination, is haram. So what has changed? At least they are even protesting. In the time of Buhari, we see that uh, even the Yorubas were not even coming out like that, apart from Ibo that came out because of a uh, Fulani Esme, and he paid the ultimate price. Well, of course, he has beginning to appear like television with no clear. Some people argued as at then that this guy was working for Tinubu. But with the way things are playing out, we begin to see that, uh, oh, it's like it's becoming true. Or somebody, some people just understood or were right as at that time. Yorubas could not even protest. But now that a uh, Yoruba man is there, the Yorubas are now supporting him irrespective of what uh, his performance uh, uh, looks like. That he must finish his eight years. Even if they are going to suffer for it, he must finish for eight years. And you begin to ask them, for how long are you going to do this? And now the northerners are now protesting. But they were supposed to protest when Buhari was there because they were always they always talk about oh they have they have uh, some kind of things in common and all of that. And I've said it times with that number. They are playing politics of a yes useless politics politics a, a, a retrogressive policy a politics if you want to ask me because they say oh some people should go and learn how to play politics. I say God forbid. 
if that is the kind of politics you play that is bringing retrogression and underdevelopment, it doesn't worth it. You emulate things that we that we uh, pay you off at the end of the day. Not this. You are playing politics and you are most miserable. Well, that is a different thing entirely. So that is exactly what the Daily Momodu is trying to say. Not that he said, oh, whether you like it or not, it must be. As a Yoruba man, you must finish his tenor. But some people are mis misunderstanding what he said. Somebody you are dreaming. What gave the impression about his soul with God and he has not even reached her for four years? It is what people said. He is trying to paint out, not him. God is still working. Here we are. Daily Momodu, God, good enough. Both the rain and shine fall and eat on every roof. Sure, he must finish his eight years. So, not even by voting anymore. Words have started coming out. Hungry political jobber have spoken. Look at his face. He must finish his eight years tenure in good health and sound mind. This man has no idea of what people are going through. Mm -mm. This is not what uh, Daily Momodu was talking about. On a common person will not understand the spirit behind the protest of end bad governance uh, okay? in Tigra. Don't worry, revolution is here. On our cup, don't fool. Just let's be going. Go. The youth is about to take back their country. Is it about a tribe or the country? Oh Lord, heal the people's mind. So, guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.